continuously go back to the emotions of frustration or anger, upset, or any sort of negative emotion, it just continues to rise. I'm gonna share with you what I have found about that, why that is, and maybe how we can shift it today. Okay, so one of the things for me is, um, I learned this from Tony Robbins, but we have what's called an emotional home. Basically, we have maybe three negative, lower vibration, not negative, but lower vibration emotions that we may go to, and we have three higher vibration emotions that we may go to. Now, we can go to a range of emotions, but these six total are what we might go to 90% of the time. So, I have my own business, I have my own law practice, and when I had, I had systemized it a lot where I wasn't as involved in the day-to-day -day operations. And the weirdest thing happened because when I was involved in the day-to-day -day oper operations, I went through the whole spectrum of emotions. I would get angry, I would have frustration, uh, I would get upset. Is anything any business owner would, would understand, anything any lawyer would definitely understand. Um, what happened when I started systemizing it, there'd be sometimes whole days where I didn't need to you know, go to work or show up, but what, what, what the weirdest thing happened, my body was so used to feeling that frustration emotion or that angry emotion, and it wasn't feeling it, so if I was just sitting there hanging out or doing whatever, my body, it could start to say, oh my God, like, it would, it would like, I start to send thoughts to my to my brain and say like, oh my God, go check your email just in case something like bad happened. Oh my God, you go check this. Oh my God, go check your, your Slack messages or your Microsoft team messages, make sure like everything's okay. And I would go look and I would, it would legitimately feel like something wrong is gonna happen. Oh my God, so I would go look and like nothing was wrong, nothing would happen. Like, okay, and then an hour later it would happen again. I remember there were some days where I was just hanging out on my email, just like refreshing it every five minutes just to kind of, are we all good? Are we all good? Are we all good? And then I started to realize it's not that the external thing, there's anything to be frustrated about. It, it was my mind and body were so used to going there. And because it wasn't going there, it got confused and it wanted to feel that. It was an unfamiliar feeling not to go there, so it wanted to feel that. So what it started to do was look for things for to be frustrated about. Hey, look, there's nothing here, let me find something. Go look for something, go look for something, go look for something to feel frustrated about, to feel upset about. Um, and that's why I would go check the emails. That's why I would like almost, I'd be out of the day to day, but I would almost live in fear that something bad's gonna happen, right? Uh, or something like that's gonna frustrate me, it's gonna happen. And the weird thing is sometimes I would find it and then I would feel frustrated and then it was almost like, okay, we're, the body would like stop yelling at me. Okay, we're good, you got your frustrated feeling for the day, you're good, we're good for now, we'll come back tomorrow. But I don't want, of course, that's not a, that's not a, that's not a freeing way to live on a day-to-day -day basis. It's an emotion that traps, that can trap you in, that can continuously pull you in and yank you in. So I don't want to do that. So, um, but being aware of that helped me to start to release that. So when the feeling would come up the next day, once I became aware, I was like, um, I'm gonna, just going to sit here. I'm not going to react to this emotion and let's see what happens. And I would do that and guess what? Nothing, you know, frustrating would happen at all. Um, yeah, so a another experience I had was when I was, uh, we had a we had an issue in our business, uh, whatever, I don't remember the issue, but we had an issue and I'm like, okay, this is the number one thing we gotta focus on. And I remember thinking of other stuff, I'm like, nah, those aren't really that important, not that big a deal, this is the one thing we gotta really like fix. And we went and we fixed it, and then guess what happened right after we fixed it? That second thing that was like, eh, it's not a big deal, I didn't think, all of a sudden I could feel the energy of it coming up here and it's like, oh my God, this thing, what about this thing? This is so like, you know, when I started getting angry and frustrated, I'm like, oh my God, like my mind will make up the problems in order for my body and mind to feel the emotion. It's not about the problem that's out there, it's about the emotion my mind and body is trying to experience, so it will create it, even if it's not really a problem, it will create it as a real problem in the mind, in the brain. So, you know, questioning what is really like a problem, is this gonna matter tomorrow, a week from now, a month from now? Questioning that and understanding it's just the body trying to generate the emotions for the problems, even though those aren't really problems. They're not real, it's just, and there may be things in a business we have to solve, of course, and we need to deal with, of course, I understand that. I have a team of 37, we've got, you know, 1,000 clients, I get that. Um, but understanding that sometimes it's not, sometimes it's just our, our body and our mind trying to go to a certain feeling, trying to 
you get a certain reaction and it goes to those and it creates them as problems or it heightens them as problems when they're not really that bad. They're not really that big of a deal. So when I was starting to create other businesses and I was you know, looking for people to hire, the weirdest thing happened. I went through, I don't know, 15 people to hire for this thing and all of them I didn't like. And why didn't I like them? And I was like, oh, I do a test with them, I do this, and like, I felt like they made a dumb decision. They made a dumb move. Like, why did you do that? That's a dumb decision. Why did you do that? That's a dumb decision. And it was over and over, and I'm like, what is going on here? Is it like people just are dumb or what? And what I realized is no, if it's 15 people and you didn't like any of them, maybe, or it's you. You are trying to ex have the experience of feeling like nobody can help you that you want in this area or that people can't be trusted or they're gonna make dumb decisions. I am looking, was subconscious, of course I wasn't consciously doing that, I wanted the opposite consciously, but subconsciously that's what I actually wanted was, was to feel like I can't trust people. See, I can't trust them, look at this, look at this, look at this. Um, so I started, to, I would, what I would do is I would attract people that maybe make those, but I'm also generating that energy within my mind and body and energy is everywhere just because me and this tree just because we look separate but we're vibrating at a lower energy so that's why you can see it physically but actually if you go higher energy you see that me and the tree we're all just mixed in so what happens is i'm actually generating the energy of frustration of that desire for a frustrating experience over and it's hitting the other per person so it's sending the energy, hey, do something that he's not gonna like so he gets frustrated. Do something he's not gonna like so he gets, so it's, it's hitting them, right? Maybe you've walked in around people, you've been around people that had like just a funky vibe or people that had a wonderful vibe or places that had a funky vibe or a wonderful vibe. That's energy that's flowing, um, that's, that's having an impact. So because I'm, my subconscious, my energy was looking for that frustrating experience, guess what? My mind was looking for it and there it was everywhere. And also, it's, you're, even if somebody's doing the right thing, I'm sending the energy, hey, mess up. And if that doesn't happen, then my mind will say, oh, they look at, they did this thing, or they did this thing. Um, so yeah, that's, that's why it's so important, I think, at a core level to shift, to become aware of that, and to shift it. Everything that happens in our environment and our circumstances is our creation. Everything that happens is our creation. If you take it on like that, and you ask yourself, how am I creating this, and why is this a blessing, you start to shift the way you're looking at it. If I did create this, maybe it doesn't seem obvious, but if I did create this, how would I have done it? Is there some emotional feeling that I'm trying to get out of this? Is it a perspective? Um, is it something for me to learn? Why did, how did I create this and why is it a blessing for me? When you start to kind of ask those questions of your higher power, God, your soul, whatever, when you start to ask those questions, you start to see how you're actually creating your own reality and how you can start to shift it. And you, then you start to feel true power within yourself and then you can start to shift it. Um, and the more you do it in a, in a divine way, in alignment with your soul and other people's souls, the more you'll create more flow for yourself and others. If you try to shift it from an ego way, you're just gonna, you're just create another problem for yourself because at the end of the day, all our problems, I think, are to help us go into here, into our heart, into our soul, not to create more problems with our mind. Sorry to go into second concept there, but I hope that helps. I'll talk about that concept in a second, another video. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you soon.